Hey y'all, Brandon Hewitt here with Be Random Fishing. This is my old tent and my old sleeping bag. And this is a lot. They're pretty big. Like, they fit good on the kayak. It's real easy to, to find a spot for something this big. This tent is amazing. It pops up super fast. I'll link um, my unboxing and my review of this tent here. But I want to show you guys something awesome. So what I got on my back is my new tent and my new sleeping bag. Bam! It all fits right here in the backpack. So now I don't I, I don't have to be stuck just to kayak camping or truck camping. I can actually put on a backpack, hike into the woods, and start camping. Let me show you guys this whole setup right here. It's really awesome. So just in this tiny little backpack, it's not even like a camping backpack, it's just a day pack. And I have my sleeping mat. And then I have my sleeping bag. Look at how tiny this thing is. And then I have the tent inside the backpack. Look at that. Look at this. My old tent compared to my new tent. Look at the size difference there. It's like, it's about half his size. Super stoked. I can't wait to put this up. See how easy it is to put up see what it looks like. So the new tent is an ultralight peridot tent. See that right there? From Featherstone. And let's go ahead and put it up, see what it looks like. See how long it takes me to put it up. I've never even opened this yet. It still has the tag on it. So this is like newbie. I don't even know what it's gonna look like other than the pictures I saw online when I bought it. All right. It's definitely pretty light. Tent assembly instructions, they're right here inside uh, the bag that holds it. You need the footprint down first, stake the corners of the footprint, then you lay the tent body over the footprint, insert the poles, attach all the clips, and then the rain fly. Sounds pretty easy. Let's go ahead and find the footprint. like the rain fly to me. What is this guy right here? Is this what we're looking for? Yes, the footprint. The footprint goes down first. Oh, these are nice stakes. Look at this. See that? That's nice. They're not just those real cheap, like, crappy ones. That's actually really nice. Here's the poles. It's got these grommets. It's got a. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, this is this is interesting. I've never seen a tent like this. They go together real well, though. It's not a. Uh, it feels pretty high quality. Looks like it looks like it's all one piece. Oh no! It's a little windy today. I put this stuff in the back. A 
but I do like this. There's no guesswork. It's just, it's just one set of poles. Look at that, they're all together. I do believe it goes like that. So what's really cool about this tent is, as you can see, without the rain fly on it, it's all mesh. So when you're outside and you're camping, you can actually see the stars. And you can see like everything around you. So I'm really excited about this tent just for this purpose right here. Beautiful clear night, see the full moon and the stars. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and get this rain fly on. Uh, just to see what it looks like. Whew, that was a lot harder than putting up that other tent of mine. For sure, but it looks pretty sweet. Let me show you guys what this looks like. So we finally got the tent up, bam, and it was work. Um, how long have I been recording? 24 minutes. I've been recording for 24 minutes, but it's up and this looks pretty sweet. Hey y'all, hope you guys like this one. Just a quick unboxing setup of the new tent of mine. It's a pain, but it's definitely not as fast like that five minutes my last one. My other tent only takes five minutes to put up. This one, 24 minutes. But if I don't have to put the rain fly on, I think it's gonna be really worth it because you can see those stars and that's gonna be, that's gonna be epic. So thanks for watching you guys. Remember to camp, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. This was a chore. But it was a good test with my camera. First time I shot outside with it, so I do not have a variable ND filter, so we'll see how it looks. But hopefully all this stuff will fit right back in this bag. Yeah. Was it a pain? Yes. Does it give me the ability to watch the stars at night? Yes. And it's like half the size of my old tent. Is it worth it? I think if I'm going camping, I'm gonna take this tent. If it's gonna be a super clear night and I need to save the weight, and I want to watch the stars, I'll take this tent. But at least I have two tents in case I want to bring somebody with me or... Oh, those bugs are horrible, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to camp, learn, repeat. We'll catch you on the next one. Uh...